Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, welcome to another training video lesson. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different. Today, I'm not going to analyze any specific chart. I want to talk about what I think is one of the massive keys to success. I am going to talk about the seven components of a well written trading plan. Okay. Now, this can apply to stocks and this can apply to options. So if that sounds good to you, then you know what to do. One, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Two, hit that little bell to be notified whenever I shoot a brand new video. And three, like this video, make a nice comment, okay? Make a nice comment. Appreciate what I'm trying to deliver, you know, bunch of free information to give as much value as possible. And if you appreciate that, do me a favor, make a nice comment. Okay, all right, so let's jump into this training video lesson. All right, everybody, so we're talking, we're going to be talking about the seven components of a well written trading plan. So, first of all, why is having a trading plan important? Having a trading plan is important because it's your roadmap. I talk about this in my book quite often. If you don't have the roadmap and the guide, how can you get to your end results? Too many people jump into trading. And I was talking about with some of my students, they, they automatically just think that they're going to become instant millionaires, right? They have no plan. They're going to jump into it and they see somebody post a trade alert. They see somebody post a setup and they're going to get rich. It doesn't work like that. Okay. It doesn't work like that. Now, the way that it works is have a well-written trading plan. Now, what we're going to do in class today is we're actually going to be building a trading plan together. It's probably, in my opinion, not a recommendation to buy or sell, the greatest trading strategy I have ever seen in my 14-year career. It's producing right now over a 90% probability. We're going to build this in class, but I want to go over these components right now. So component number one, strategy goal. You must have a strategy goal in place, okay? Now, guys, what you're looking at, oh, really quickly, if you stick around to the end of the video, I am going to share this blank trading plan with you. This is a, a blank trading plan template that will allow you to build your trading plan, okay? It's very important, and I'm going to give this to you if you stick around to the end of the video, okay, because that's it right there. And it'll give you the link of where to go. So number one component is a strategy goal. You must have a strategy goal. For example, your strategy goal might be to profit from bullish stocks as they move higher, okay? That could be a strategy goal. So maybe you trade the squeeze, right? We love the squeeze. And your strategy goal could be to profit from bullish stocks that are consolidating in a squeeze before their next explosion, right? Before their next explosion. That is a strategy goal. So you need to have a strategy goal for each trading plan that you have, okay? So like, for example, a trading plan right here is one of the trading plans that we have inside the courses. Let me just find it really quickly is right here. This bull flag trading plan. When it's done, I want your trading plan to look something like this. OK, strategy goal. Take advantage of short to intermediate uptrending stocks as they pull back and bounce off support. Strategy goal. OK, so the next component that you need to have for a well-written trading plan is stock selection and let me go ahead and put right here stock selection criteria okay let's dive into that right here stock selection criteria now this could be you know high liquidity stocks right it could be tight bid ask spreads average daily volume greater than this okay you need to have a specific stock selection criteria now, if you're an option trader, this matters. If I say things like high liquidity stocks, tight bid as spread, I do that because I don't want to get taken advantage of. Okay, so you need to have that. So if we jump in here to, and again, I'll kind of give you a visual so you can see right here, stock selection criteria. 
uptrending stocks making higher highs and higher lows, high liquidity stocks, average daily volume greater than 1 million shares. So you need to have a stock selection criteria that is guiding you. Remember, the trading plan is your roadmap. If you don't have a map, you will get lost. And in the world of trading, if you get lost, that means blow up your account, game over. If you got no money, how can you trade? Okay, so that is selection number two. All right, so number three, the number three component of a well-written trading plan is setup. Okay, now setup criteria, but I'm just going to put the setup. What is the setup, guys? The setup, write this down for your notes. The setup is what the stock looks like just before giving you an entry signal. We are a trader, or we are traders of setups. We search for setups. We don't search for entries. We search for setups, okay? So you need to have setup criteria. So if we go back to our bull flag, for example, setup. What does stock look like before giving you an entry signal? We want to see at least a five-day rally to consider drawing fibs. And then here is the setup criteria. Higher high, pullback, at support, okay? So when you are creating a trading plan, you must, you must define what your setup looks like. For those of you that trade the squeeze, and I trade the squeeze, your setup might be an uptrending stock, pulling back to a higher low, and then consolidating, right? Or something like that, or higher high, consolidation, in a squeeze. What does your setup look like, okay? That is component number three. All right. So component number four, entry, oops, I forgot it right here. We didn't do it. Let's go here. So entry rules. Can't do without that. All right, so entry rules. Entry rule. This is our trigger. This is what gets us into the trade. The setup is what we look for. The entry is what we do. That's when we get into the trade, okay? So let's go ahead and analyze that really quick. I'll go take a look at this bull flag trading plan so you can get a visual. And again, at the end of this video, okay, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to share with you a link on how to get this blank trading plan that you can adapt and you can create your own strategy. Or if you already have a strategy that's in your head, Brian Tracy said, think on paper, think on paper, right? That's what we're going to do. So entry rule. So for example, in the entry rule, it may, let me pull out my bull flag trading plan. Entry rule right here, right? Conservative approach, aggressive approach. It could be price trades above the high of the low day or any following day by 20 cents. Now, I've adapted to this trading plan, so it could be price above the high of the low day or any inside slash following day, whatever gives you the best entry, right? So your entry rules. Now, on this trading plan right here, because again, I've adapted to it. You're, I have the initial stop loss 1% below the low, the low day, because you're going to see in a minute we have our exit rules. But the bottom line is have your entry signal. You can have it a conservative approach, an aggressive approach, which is what we teach inside of the school, right? Conservative approach, and then more of aggressive, depending on what fits your lifestyle. But you need to have an entry rule criteria. You cannot have a successful trading plan without an entry rule criteria. Number five, exit rules. Exit rules, okay? We need to have a clean set of exit rules, okay? Exit rules might be things such as, you know, F at if at any time you achieve 80% of your maximum gain, get out. Exit rule might be Close the trade if you lose 50% of your option value. You need to establish your exit rules. We have a whole, well, not a whole bunch, but our trading plans inside the course have a clear, well-defined exit strategy. And you need to have that if you are going to be successful in the market. Here's a copy of the exit plan on our bull flag trading strategy. Swing exit, flag exit. Swing, flag, combo, trade duration, all that good stuff. You need to have a clear set of exit rules. When are you going to get out? 
Anybody can get into the trade. When are you going to get out? What are you going to do if it goes against you? What are you going to do if it goes in your favor? How are you going to protect profit? What's going to be your adjustment criteria? So you don't lose all your money. You need to establish a clear, clear set of exit rules if you want to have a great trading plan. And moving on to the next one, we've got number six, money management rules. How much are you going to risk on any one trade? Because at the end of the day, that's what matters the most. How much are we going to lose on every trade? Do you notice I said how much are we going to lose on every trade? Not how much are we going to win on every trade? Because the what matters to me the most is how much am I going to lose? If I win, great. But I focus on the loss that if everything goes against me, how much am I going to lose? So your money management rules might be risk a half a percent, one percent of your total account value. You know, whatever your sleep factor is, what I call it in my book is. So for example, money management rules right here risk one half to one percent of your total account value. So if we have a fifty thousand dollar, you may not be able to see that yellow. Then one percent is five hundred bucks. Then maybe you risk $500 per trade, but you need to have a clear money management rule set. Okay. And then again, the final component of a well written trading plan is a daily routine. The secret to your success is found in your daily routine. Your daily routine. It's what you do every day that's going to separate you. From the rest of the traders are you the type of trader who every once in a while looks at the market you don't have any clear game plan if that's you how are your trading trading results now okay how are your results that's true so for example we might go to for example this look through your watch list for setups and entry signals interconditional oco bracket orders monitor open positions for stop loss. That could be your routines. Okay. That could be your routine. So that's the seven components of a well written trading plan. Remember, the trading plan is your roadmap. If you don't have a roadmap, how's your trading? Stop and ask yourself right now. You're listening to this video, whatever year. We're in December 29, 2020. How's your trading going? Okay. Are you following all the gurus out there? who are telling you how to make $300,000 in one trade or $3 million. It doesn't work like that. I want you, everybody watching this YouTube video, everybody inside the course, follow a well-written trading plan. If you do that, you will have consistent results. Because again, with our trading plan, it allows us to adapt. Adapt, tweak, make changes. All right? Now, so for those of you that I really appreciate, first of all, I really appreciate you guys being here. For those of you that want this document, you're going to see the link down below. And if you, again, go to that, and I am going to give you this blank trading plan document. Now, when you click the link, it's actually going to take you to a free course that I'm offering called my Options 101. It's a free option course. It's more of an introductory course to get somebody used to options. But if you are already involved in options, it's still a great course. Okay, and then plus what I'm going to do as a bonus, I'm going to throw in my ebook for free and one of my top scans in this trading plan. I'm going to give you this trading plan for free. All you got to do is click on the link, go to the course and register for free. Then you'll get this email to you. So make sure when you get the email to check your inbox as well as your spam just in case. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's training video lesson on the seven components of a well-written trading plan. Now, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, subscribe, subscribe, spread the love, spread the word, help me share this with more people like you. Because if you're still watching this video, you are who I want to talk to. If you've already left by now, you're not who I want to talk to. I want you, okay? So spread the word. Do me a favor, like this video, make a nice comment, and hit that little bell to be notified whenever I shoot a brand new video. Also, if you're interested in the Ready Aim Fire Pro by Simpler Trading 
or the TTM Squeeze Pro, you should see links down below. I am affiliated with Simpler Trading, and so if you use my links, I know on the Squeeze Pro they give you a discount. On the Ready Aim Fire Pro, I'm not sure, but as a bonus for you helping me and you helping yourself by getting the Ready Aim Fire Pro, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my TOSS custom codes that go with the Ready Aim Fire. So this TOSS custom codes were specifically built to go with the Ready Aim Fire Pro. And if you get the Ready Aim Fire Pro through my link with Simpler as a bonus, I'm going to give you that completely for free. It's over a thousand dollars worth of. Whew, it's over a thousand dollars worth. You're gonna get it for free, okay? Okay, just by using my link. Now, if you are past the options 101 and you want to progress into my Elite course, hey, I highly encourage you to click the link down below. Check out the Elite course and join all the other students in there. I will be adding tons of videos in 2021 to the Elite course. All right, everybody. Till next time, this is Trader Jeff Moore, author of the book Trading Part Time, CEO, lead instructor of the Trading Part Time University, and I'll see you in the next video lesson.